As you would expect, due to the nature of the incident, we responded as though this was terrorist related. I'm now in a position to confirm that it has been declared a terrorist incident. UK police saying officially this incident is terrorist related. A male suspect was shot and killed by police after he stabbed multiple people at London Bridge. With us now from the Heritage Foundation, Vice President and National Security and Foreign Policy Head, James Carafano. James, thanks in advance for the time. Uh, these locations where we've seen another incident today were actually witness to a terrorist attack in 2017. We know that the area has a lot of daily commuters. Is this part of why this area has been targeted again, in your view? Uh, absolutely. There, there have been at least 37 Islamist-related terrorist attacks in Great Britain between, like, 2014 and 2018. So this absolutely fits right square into the pattern that we've been seeing the last couple of years. So the Metropolitan Police are confirming a number, number of people, rather, have been injured. Any idea of which group could be behind this attack? I know I've seen some headlines uh, that ISIS, there is some member that has right. perhaps made a link to that. Is that believable? Uh, it is. Believe it or not, the U.K., in their public numbers is tracking about 23,000 Islamist related suspects. So people running around the country that they don't have enough information to arrest them or prosecute them, but that they're concerned that they're either going to be affiliated with extremist activities or terrorist activities. Um, some of them are created uh, related to ISIS. Uh, others aren't, but it's, it's a pretty big pool that you have to worry about. The apparently the uh, murderer, we have to call him now, uh, was wearing a hoax explosive vest. Based on your experience in these matters, I'm assuming this is to distract the police, to, to create an even right. bigger uproar. Do you see that pattern fitting in with others that you've been studying? Right. And, and what's really interesting is, is you're right, it's, it's designed to confound and, and deter the police. Also, if you want to make sure that you're dead at the end, it's a good way to ensure that. But the, the flip side of that is he didn't have a real vest, which obviously he would if he could get one. So what we're seeing here, and we, again, which is very part of what we've seen in the pattern in Great Britain and throughout Europe, is these are not like 9-11. These aren't things that are connected to a big, large plot. These are people who have become radicalized, and they're either acting in spirit or in sympathy, but they have very limited, a very limited infrastructure, very limited technical capability, and... So they, they make five minutes of headlines, but the amount of damage uh, they can do is, is relatively limited. That's good news. The bad news for Great Britain is this threat has been so persistent. The conservative government's actually been better at this. But to be honest, they've really been distracted by Brexit and other issues the last couple of years. And while they were getting way better at dealing with this, in the, in the last couple of years, they've kind of taken their eye off the ball. You, you feel like Sadiq Khan, who's the mayor, of course, of London, who's already made statements on this incident, you think that he and the rest of the administration is too distracted to be focusing on terrorism? Is that what you said? Well, the mayor's been completely unhelpful, absolutely. I mean, he's part of the old guard, which was the idea is we're going to prevent terrorism. And their idea of preventing terrorism was essentially engaging with some of the most extremist radical groups in Great Britain, kind of asking for their help in dealing with the threats, like asking a bank robber to you know, hold on to your ATM card for you. The, the conservative government's been much, much better, but um, they, Brexit has been all-consuming. The flip side of that is Boris Johnson has committed himself to public safety and to dealing with this threat, and he's been campaigning on it. If he comes back as a prime minister and they get Brexit done, that, that the top of his agenda is dealing with this issue, which which the U.K. does need to be really serious about. James, before I let you go, President Trump announcing the U.S. will resume peace talks with the Taliban during, the president made that announcement, of course, during his surprise uh, visit with the troops on Thanksgiving. Um, what in all likelihood do you think can be best achieved? Well, I, I think the president is struggling.